On Saturday, protesters clashed with state police on the University of Virginia campus. Police arrested more than two dozen people, 12 of them students. Miles Hood spoke with one of those students and joins us in the studio with more. Miles. Danya Qureshi is a student at the University of Virginia. She says the incident on Saturday is one she'll never forget. We were woken up and surprised by state police, riot police, university police, the Charlottesville police, uh, all arriving on scene without any reasonable warning. Daniel Qureshi is a junior at UVA and says the days leading up to the protests were peaceful, but all that changed Saturday afternoon. A Palestinian student at the university, Qureshi felt a responsibility to do what she feels is right. It's incredibly close to home, uh, but we linked arms and we attempted to defend our encampment. Earlier this afternoon at a virtual town hall, UVA President Jim Ryan apologized for incidents on Saturday. I completely understand and recognize the distress caused by the level of police presence on grounds, especially the state police, and I'm very sorry it got to that point. It's the last thing any of us wanted. Ryan was joined by other university leadership, including Chief of Police Tim Longo, who says the strategy used by both UVA and state police was necessary. My fear was that if active resistance would continue to escalate, it would be met with reasonable force to overcome that resistance. And the potential for escalating force was possible and likely. UVA says 27 people were arrested Saturday, 12 of them students and four employees. Everyone was issued trespassing orders. Those orders for students were modified yesterday so they can complete finals and more. Qureshi says the incident has only reinforced her feelings toward her school. Um, I, I have no respect and I never did for this university. UVA President Jim Ryan ultimately called the situation on Saturday a no-win situation. Qureshi says she would do it again if given the opportunity. All right, thanks so much, Miles. Well, university officials say they know they've lost some community trust over this incident, and they are working to get it back.